Uh, let's move on. The organization uh, Home uh, Care Assistance is working to evacuate senior citizens and their belongings from the fire zone. Teams are on the ground delivering supplies, wheelchairs, equipment, and provisions uh, to help people who need it. Director of Operations Jesse Walters, uh, kind enough to join us live in the studio. Jesse, welcome. Thank you. Uh, take us through the process. Where are you guys at right now? How many individuals are you helping? So this morning we're we're delivering about uh, what 15 more wheelchairs over to a senior living community. We have um, a huge need for incontinence supplies and and actually just diapers and and sweatshirts and sweats. So it's 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 major needs coming from from our teams all over the, the North Bay. Does the area have a, a larger uh, contingent of senior citizens in your experience? This is this is this is I've never seen anything like this before. There's there's mm. literally seniors who are living in facilities of 500 people who need constant support who have been evacuated all day yesterday. So we were responding one by you know one by one to get them all the support that we can. It's, yeah, I've been hearing a lot of stories. Uh, the one just off the top of my head out of Glen. Glenn Ellen there of, of seniors being rescued. Um, as soon as the fire sparked up Sunday night, were you aware of it or is it something you woke up Monday this, and your phone started ringing? Yeah, this this woke up. I was actually in a meeting Monday morning and received a call saying, hey, we've, we've just lost one complete community. We have three more evacuating. How quickly can you help? How quickly can you get supplies? So, so our team at Home Care Assistance across the Bay Area jumped on making calls, talking to DME providers. It's, it's been it's been one community after another. Do you have the equipment on, on standby? I imagine a lot of equipment, uh, wheelchairs and walkers and that kind of thing, and the supplies you mentioned need to come in. Are, are they ready? Or are you having to get them flown in or what's going so on? So we, we specialize in providing caregivers in, into to our clients' homes. So we actually have many, many contacts and resources throughout the community. So we're pulling from every single uh, medical equipment company that we can right now. People um, watching at home, how can they help? They what, can, can, what, what can they do for you? Because I know that a lot of people want to help. That's that's a great question. Uh, we're still we're still figuring out. We're still responding very quickly. So they can look up our website, homecareassistance.com. Reach out to their local office. I have I have nine teams throughout the Bay Area on call 24/7, providing caregivers to to uh, clients in hotels who who have been displaced. Um, so they can they can call our local teams and find out what our local teams need. This is the hotline we got on the screen for you uh, with that phone number. Um, before we let you go, um, this is why you're here. I mean, people will ask you, why do you do what you do? And, and when we mission. see these images, I mean, this this is it, yeah. right? Do you yeah. get that sense for yeah. you? You. This is our, our mission has always been to change the way the world ages, and this is an yeah. opportunity where we can change the, the local you know, communities. Um, All right, Jesse, yeah. thank you. Thanks Appreciate all you do. Yeah.